Welcome back. This is a continuation of the previous video. That's the video where I showed you how to do a frequency counter, how to measure frequency of a digital signal using uh, a MyRio and LabVIEW. So I'm just going to continue this with a practical example. And if you'll just remember from the previous video, uh, this is the code for the FPGA. The code for the FPGA uh, just sets a timer. This, this loop here samples at 1 megahertz, 1 microsecond timer here around a while loop and uh, it sets a timer uh, just on the uh, positive going edge and uh, when, it, when it finds the next edge it then uh, calculates the period of the waveform. Once it's found the period of the waveform displays it here on the screen but we it's a little bit not so good that so we we put that through to the uh, front panel which is the uh, host and I can just get that up there it is and have a look and on the host you read that value from the period of the waveform and we reciprocate it, multiply by a million because we're sampling at one megahertz and then the rest of it is to do with the encoder that I've attached to give the pulses in this case so this is an application and it's got 1024 uh, pulses per revolution or that was otherwise one rev per 1024 pulses and so I have to divide by 1024 and that uh, gives me uh, pulses per second and then I have to multiply by sorry that gives me revolutions per second and then I have to multiply by 60 to get revolutions per minute so just to recap on that I've got the frequency in Hertz which is here I then divide by 1024 to gives me um, revolutions per second because it's 1024 pulses per revolution and then I multiply by 60 to get RPM which is really what we're after and then on the front display I zoom out I've got a number of display, displays I've got RPM RPM meter here like a taco on a car and a graph now if I take you over here I'll show you the actual example Here's the My Rio, and feeding into the input of the My Rio is a Tacho or, or a quad. Actually, it's a quad encoder with two outputs, but I'm just using one output which has got 1024 pulses per revolution. I've attached that to an electric drill just to, for the time being, just for convenience, so I can uh, get something to rotate. And you'll see if I rotate this by hand, uh, well, I'll just rotate it with the drill, and you can see it. See the pulse is changing on the oscilloscope as I as I change the drill. So if I now operate the drill and watch what the speed comes out as, should be quite interesting. There we go. So that's 350 something RPM showing the same there on that bar. There's a period of the waveform. Now I can't actually hold this steady and operate the camera at the same time unfortunately. Uh, if you hold this steady it does go at a much higher rate. Uh, but basically that's uh, how to measure RPM of a motor using a MyReal uh, and an encoder. It's a quad encoder, but I'm only using one of the outputs. Thank you very much.